Okay. You got you guys gotta speak loud, real loud, cause uh yeah, where are the rest of the guys? We have unofficial people we need to be a little bit more together, all of us. Can you scoot over that way a little bit more please? I guess here. You're fine Don. He wants my car, here, eventually. Oh boy, I'll give him Thank one. Thank you. So guys. Okay, whenever you're ready. Speak I'm, loud. Speak very I'm loud. here at Chef Cleo and uh, not just discovering new talent. This talent is already flying all over the world and you are? Ned Ma. Whoa. Suicide Mike P. There you go. Uh, before I start, you've got a CD that's out now. How many songs on your CD? Right now, I think there's 15. 15? And, uh, and an outro. That's right, and the Haitians are coming? Yeah, yeah that's most definitely on there. Gotta let them know that we're coming, we're here, we're here, we're here to stay, so. That's right. <laughs> now, you know, I'm in a lot of schools, and I have a message to the youth called Be Cool, Stay in School Tour. Yeah. And uh, can you just do something off the top of your cup, you know, uh, just something that would be Be Cool, Stay in School, you know. Be and, Cool, Don't Be a Fool, Stay in School, Read Your Books. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's a good look. Oh, something. <laughs> can, you, can you do something too? Uh, yeah, sure. There we go. Be cool, Freestyle. stay in school, don't be a fool, read your books, that's a good look. Don't be a crook, one day you might be a cook. Right. Ah! Oh, that was so cheesy. <laughs> That was so it's for the kids though, we love the kids. That's right, you know, and uh, you write your own music? Yes, All do. of it. All of it? And we produce a lot of our music too. That right there is a mixtape with like a mixture of industry beats and original beats too. Okay. So most of it is industry beats. That's why we call it Rape in the Industry Bio Free because we had a couple of bios before that. Okay. On that you'll find collaborations with other Haitian hip hop artists also. BBC. They're from up north in New York. Uh, they're from New Jersey. Up from up north. Um, Ching Ching, Ching Ku, Ben Shumi. He's from Brooklyn. You got the um, whole Lezen Ajay camp on there. Lezen Ajay, Sissa Consa. He's from LI. Okay, and we got Sky's the Limit. They're from West Palm. They're from Dr. down here. Down here. Okay. Well, was, it's, Dr. Zoe's not on the album, but they, they still part of the movement. Yeah. You know, family, Blanco. Everybody that's down here showing a lot of love and support to the movement. Pretty much when you listen to that CD, you'll see a lot of growth from what we've been doing before. Okay, tell me about your music. What type of songs, what, 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 what inspires you to write your songs? I mean, the country, my country, Haiti, mm -hmm. of course, in general. Mm -hmm. um, we do a thing called Kringlish, where we mix English and Creole together. Mm -hmm. So, like, even if you're not Haitian, you could still understand what we're talking about. Right. And for the most part, if you're Haitian, you most definitely will understand what we're talking about. We incorporate a lot of a lot of um, metaphors and stuff about life, stuff about the streets and stuff struggle. like that, the struggle. You know, what we go through, and, and we call it Kringlish too, because you know it's, it's a mixture of Creole and English, as Suicide said earlier. And the Creole part, like, is very important to me. You know, and I'm, it's important to, to a lot of us, everybody in the movement, should I say. The Creole, we, you know, you have, to, you know, this, you have to stick to your roots. I'm from Haiti. I can't forget where I come from. So the Creole is, is, is the language of my home. You know what I mean? So we, we speak the Creole. We, so that's why we call it Klinglish and we keep the Creole influence, the Haitian influence in our music. Right but don't, no, sorry. That's okay. Don't, you want. don't get it twisted too. We can spit in, in English. all English too. But yeah. we make sure we represent Haiti all the time. Yeah. That's great. And also, how did you find your group? How did you start? It was actually by accident. Okay. We used to work in a store together. And, uh -huh. A retail store. This guy was my manager. I was oh. manager. I was, <laughs> I was one of the youngest, youngest black managers in that retail store. Uh -huh. And um, I mostly used to produce. I, I mean, I used to rap back in the days and stuff like that, but I used to suck. I'm the first person to tell you that. But so, you know, I started getting a knack for producing. So, you know, during the course of producing, I probably would write a little rhyme here and there. I did something in Kringlish, right? So it was one day, we was working in the store, and um, there's this kid that would come from Brooklyn all the time and won a battle. 